I think it's very crucial and a huge uh, compliment to the negotiation partners that you have come to the point where you have with uh, one very important peace agreement being signed. And at the same time, of course, I think we know very well from experience that uh, everyone thinks that it's the signing of the agreement that is important, but actually the work starts afterwards. And I think people, well, everyone has noted now the FARC guerrillas moving into the camps, handing over the weapons, etc. Uh, but we also need to be aware that the process forward now is quite critical. Uh, there has to be uh, jobs for people, there has to be a livelihood, there has to be distribution of resources in order for people to actually believing in peace. And I think that is really the critical issue. Peace is, is uh, not just a, um, a shortage of violence. Uh, it is jobs, welfare, it has to be filled with something. If people don't have jobs, don't have livelihoods, uh, they, and they see that some other people are very, very rich and they have nothing, they tend to get angry and the distance then to picking up weapons again is very small. So distribution of resources I think is very critical. Then of course participation, representation, justice, there's quite a few important issues that need to be addressed. Look, I know Colombia from earlier. I've been here before. I met with some incredibly powerful and resourceful civil society organizations, for example. People are resourceful in Colombia. And I think recognizing each other's skills and recognizing each other's ability to actually take responsibility for the country is crucial, important, uh, and People need to feel that they are actually part of building this so that there is dialogue uh, and that the people's resources are basically respected. Peace contributes to education because it makes it possible for kids to go to school in the conflict areas. It makes it possible to move more freely. Uh, but the arrow also goes the other way around. Education is crucial for, for peace. That means that the school system, the, the local communities, etc. have to be focused on, on involving kids and youth in explaining what is happening, that conflicts are not solved by hitting each other in the head and shooting, but by dialogue and discussions and by compromises. Uh, I think sometimes that kind of education is overlooked, but it's quite important uh, to teach people, and especially in a country where there's been conflict basically for, for forever. A lot of people in Colombia have had conflict their whole life. Uh, they have never, you know, they've never experienced peacetime. And then in such a situation you also need to sort of change people's thinking and attitudes, uh, to sit down and talk rather than shooting, to discuss rather than shouting. Uh, and some of, some of those methods, discussions, uh, dialogue, compromises, uh, are sometimes hard uh, and difficult for patients uh, to you know to keep your patients in a setting like that but but they are very very important <laughs>